All right, doing something a little different, playing with some earthy tones. And of course, I gotta bling it up a little bit. Hang on. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, so I messed around with some of my tumblers and I did some acrylic paints uh, on the base there and then did resin on top of these. And I'm super happy with the way it turned out. Now the resin layer only has the white and a little bit of gold and I think an interference, which is almost like a transparent in there, but it's got the acrylics underneath. I haven't sanded this little puppy down. I've got some sanding blocks coming in, and I'll do a video on how I fixed this guy up. It fell off the turner. Oh, I know, it's sad, but it happens. I'm learning. But um, I'm also trying to play with other, you know, just, I guess, making this tumble turner thing my own thing. Um, yeah, I've been looking at some videos myself, trying to learn some things. But I'm also applying what I know to the mix. So that means all the experience I've had with resin um, and also messing around with uh, color and um, paints and such. So, yeah, we're going to be doing this again, but with these colors. All right, now I've pre-sprayed this already with just a flat uh, paint and primer. Um, and I'll put a photo at the end of which what paint I used for this. But uh, I'm going to try out black, and I'm also going to try out gray in another video to see if that really makes a difference with what colors underneath. Probably doesn't in this case, because I'm going to be doing pretty much full coverage with the acrylics. So the thought is, is most likely not going to be much of an impact. So we're going to get started with this. So I'm using a wide brush. Uh, I don't even know if this thing has a number to it. Yeah, well, it's a one inch brush. Um, and I want some wide strokes when I go to apply this. And we're just doing, I'm just having fun with the color. I'll be really honest with you. But I thought doing the neutral colors uh, are a lot of um, just really earthy colors. I shouldn't, all right, let me see if I can figure out how to do this and still be on camera without knocking, let's see. There it is, okay. So I'm just gonna throw some color on there for right now. I knew I was going to hit the camera. So I knew these were going to be on the dark side. Wasn't that worried about it. We're just going to go for it see what happens. I want to make sure that I cover my tape up here. You know what? I'm missing a lot of this. Let me adjust. Okay. That's a little bit better. All right, so I've got painter's tape wrapped around here. I left a little bit of the metal rim on there and I'm gonna cover this entirely up and cover just a little bit of the taped line. So I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see a little bit of the, in the side there where there's a little indention. But uh, that way, so when I pull off the tape, it's, it's clean, everything has been covered. Hopefully that makes sense. It was sounding good in my head. So these colors here are basically two tones of, um, of a brown and then a very evergreeny kind of green, like a dark evergreen. And I'm hoping that these will start popping soon. I just flicked it up and splattered things. I'm a mess, but I'm having fun. Okay, and get some color down here just for coverage for now. All right, let's see if I got everything coated. It looks like I do. Okay, now I'm gonna start hitting it with a little bit of this glitter. This is gonna put a little bit of pizzazz in there. And then this is gonna really bring it up a notch. This is that 24 karat gold. There's gonna be a little bit of white in here, just for contrast.
know what? I want to keep it that way. And sometimes the big swipes, because my brush is so loaded up, will bring in the other colors too. Meaning the colors that are already built up on the brush. So you see how this is starting to come together? Now, it looks a little bit on the messy side right now, and I'm okay with that because the next layer of resin is really going to pull this whole thing together. Let's see if I can get a better swipe in there. There we go. And if things are looking a little bit too busy, I can come in with a darker color and just kind of tone it down a little bit. gold there see it didn't stay dark for long no I'm, I'm gonna leave that just like that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a little holder effect I think you can see it I'm holding this and pointing up at the same time we got a little holder right there then I'm gonna park this sucker down and let it dry for 24 hours before I do any resin on this. But I am really happy with that. So it was kind of a hot mess like this when I did this. So keep that in mind. It gives a really good first layer with a lot of action going on. All right, let me bring you in. Okay. So this is our cup and it's a little bit more upright here. So I've got a lot of different colors going on there, but you can see there's a lot going on with each stroke. And that is the stuff that will show through with the resin. So you'll get little moments like that interacting with the texture of the resin, being all wispy-like, that makes it really pretty. See, like in here with the cup, see those um, really bold stripe or strokes right there? You can see it. It seems like it's mostly covered up by the resin, but it still peeks through. But because they're colors that I picked, they're kind of tone on tone with an occasional accent. It works really, really well when you do simple layers with the resin on top of it. I hope I'm making sense. That's probably the busiest area of the piece where you see both of them colliding where a really bold brush stroke and then a lot of wispiness from the resin. But it's still really nice. I mean, in the resin, I've got the white, the gold, and the interference, which you can clearly see all three, and then the, the stroke of the acrylics underneath. So that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna play with a couple different cups and see if this happens every time or not because if it does happen every time then i can definitely plan for it yep all right so you know what to do right hit that like button hit the subscribe button but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time i put a video up hey oh also in the description below not the description below blah, blah. let me try that again in the comments below, there we go. What are your favorite colors? In other words, like um, some people really get, gravitate towards ocean colors or, uh, you know, bright golds and silvers. And, you know, some people like reds and blacks or hot pinks, and, you know, things like that. So what are your favorite colors? And maybe I'll pick a, um, a couple suggestions and do a cup based on those colors. I Really like that spot it's like my favorite spot anyway um 
Also, check in the description below for my Amazon store. I'll put any of the links I've got in the Amazon store. So you can go to it directly and just go through and pick out things that you're interested in if you're uh, inquiring about any of the products they use. Uh, I get a teeny weeny commission, but it doesn't affect your amount that you spend. So like if you went to Amazon directly, you still pay the same price. So, uh, I mean, we're talking, you know, pennies here. We're not talking about big bucks, but they, it adds up and it helps me out, you know, for me purchasing art supplies. So I won't lie about that. But at any rate, uh, so the links are there because that is a question I get a lot. Where'd you get this? Where'd you get that? Where'd you get this? So go nuts and I'll keep adding to the store as I do my projects. All my resin colors, I get them from Artists Till Death. That link is also there with a coupon code. So, all right. 